this case study is a little more left field because I know nothing about the subject. In this case, Liz actually knows something about the subject, so, <laughs> yes. um, which doesn't make sense, but Liz actually knows about miniature motorcycles for some reason, so. Um, More full-size ones. Yeah, full-size ones too. So, um, <laughs> let me just, you can explain what they are in a second, but I'll just say how I got into this. So as a result of my buying this blog, I had this idea, and it's probably a similar idea to what all of you in here are thinking right now. It's like, I could buy a portfolio of websites have them running automated, set them up like I've been setting them up, and I'd have this almost passive income stream coming in uh, on a regular basis. So I got a little bit more serious, long story short, and I started watching um, SitePoint, which is now called Flippa, and I looked for any websites that were coming in that matched certain criteria. So my criteria were a little bit more specific than any type of website. I was looking for sites that I knew about, so Golden Rules, same sort of thing. I was looking for blogs, and I was looking for sites that are forums. So to go back to what you asked me earlier with the mm -hmm. forum question, uh, a forum, it's a little bit tr interesting the way they take a lot of effort to get started. It's actually very challenging to build a forum from scratch. I think it's harder than starting a blog from scratch because you're relying on the community to write content and be committed to coming back on a regular basis. So I didn't want to start forums, but I was quite happy to go find forums that were already established and there was a, uh, a stream of new content being published and I looked for certain key metrics, uh, number of new posts every day, how much money was the site making, and I just went into Flippa every day. I really literally did that every single day. I looked for some sort of acquisition target. Um, something would come up and make a, like a ask a question, maybe it didn't quite meet my criteria, and then eventually I came across this package of three sites from an Australian seller in the industry of miniature motorcycles. And they were two forums and one sort of video sharing site, which wasn't really that big. The two forums were the main assets. And it was about this thing called miniature motorcycles, which I had no idea what they were. I, I didn't know, but Liz does. So what are they, Liz? <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. They probably, they probably don't need a lot of explaining. They're well. like real like motorcycles that work, but they're only probably about that big. You can actually ride them and they've got all the fairing and they look com like a Did you ride them? Full size. Like oh yeah, I did actually. Yeah, you're right. I did own one. <laughs> <laughs> now you're bringing out my <laughs> yeah, yeah. nerd. Uh. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> um, yeah, yes. I, I didn't know. I'm not into motorcycles, uh, even the full fun. not even the full grown ones. So, you know. <laughs> but apparently, yeah. What surprised me is they're real, as in they're not toys. No, no, they're, yeah, they're, they're they go like, fast. Yeah, you go on dirt bikes and and they're not, they're not just for kids, are they? <laughs> no? Well, <laughs> do I count as not a kid? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so not just for kids. So anyway, I found these two forums, uh, miniriders.com.au and pocketbyracing.com.au, and they're just um, really popular trading, or not trading, um, community sites based on miniature motorcycles. Uh, I'm, you know, like I said, I didn't know. People talk about the parts and the the different makes and the models and so forth. And every day these guys would come in there and talk. And they'd also eventually have to buy something. So there, were, there was interest in, I guess, the monetization side of things that a sponsor would want to reach these people. And that's how they were making money from Google AdSense, from advertising on the site. And an affiliate ebook, I think, was the other one, which was like how to maintain your um, miniature motorcycle, something like that. It was an ebook on ClickBank. So, and I bought this one for a little bit more. This was a 12,000 Australian dollar purchase. Uh, the site was making two, I think, I know, was it one? I think it was $1,000 per month in income, hands off though. Uh, the site ran itself. There wasn't any real jobs to do besides make sure that the forum was being nice to each other, basically. Mm. So um, I figured, okay, so it's one year's worth of income from the site to buy it. Uh, I already had my own servers, so there wasn't going to be an increase in cost to run the site. It was purely looking after them. And I already had that manager from the small business branding blog, and I said to him, would you be interested in looking after this site for a share of some of the income as well? And I'm just going to give you some instructions on how to improve the site. You do the work, and we'll split the, the increase in profit. And that's exactly what we did. So I bought it, and we increased the income. In this case, by attracting more sponsors was definitely the number one way. Uh, we also tested a few other products from ClickBank. Uh, we had actually a lot of grand plans. This is one of those situations where I sold the site before I really realized everything I wanted to do with it. Things like adding a blog to it, 
adding an email newsletter to mm -hmm. it, um, partnering with sites that had information products and doing JVs, um, going to more retailers and doing competitions, all kinds of things you can do. Uh, but I only own this site for 18 months before I decide to sell off all my assets in websites, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, in this case, I was able to sell it for about, I think it was $25,000 Australian in this case again, and that was um, about double the investment price. But I, I can't remember the exact number, but we grew the income somewhere from about $1,000 a month to between $1,500 and $2,000 a month consistently within about three months. Uh, and obviously, you know, after about four to five months, I paid off my initial investment cost of this website. And uh, when I sold it, it was 100% profit in that case. So it was, again, a nice sort of turnaround and um, very hands-off. For me, that's the most important thing. I, once we'd done the transfer, my manager was in charge of it. It was hands-off. Mm -hmm.